No, not a, not a good time. All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys There you go. What I'd like to do is show you guys how to find the rate of change of a given graph. All right. Now this is kind of like a little problem. It's kind of trying to deal with the real life problem. So so far what we talked about is rate of change. We're dealing with coordinate points, right? You have an x and you have a y. But remember, all rate of changes is just the change in one, um, you know, quantity over another quantity, which we usually say is our independent value, which is our, um, sorry, our dependent, or change in our dependent, which is our, sorry, which is our y over the change in the independent, which is our x. So what we're going to do is, it says a hot air balloon is, a, is at an altitude of 200 feet and descending at a steady rate. Determine the slope of the balloon's descent. So when we're looking at this problem, what we say is, well, you say that the balloon at zero number of minutes is at 200. I don't know if it's feet, meters, or anything like that, but all I know is when I'm paying attention to looking up here, I know that the, the balloon is at zero... You could say this is a coordinate point of 0, 200, right? So the y is at 200. Then at the end of it, right, when the height is 0, it took 60 minutes. So what I could say is from here to here, what was the change in y? Well, I started at 200 and I ended at where? 0, right? So what I could say is, remember, rate of changes. So what is my change in my y? So how far did I go? Change in y over change in my x. So the change in y was 200 minus 0, which you guys know is 200. Over, what is the change in x? x started at 0, and I went all the way out to where? 60. So that becomes a negative 60. So my rate of change is 200. You guys can't see that. So my rate of change is 200 over negative 60, which I can reduce that down to, what was it again? 10, but it's going to be a negative 10 over 3. Okay? So if you notice, why is it negative? Very good question. Listen up. Shh. All right? Yes, you could say my change in y was from a positive 200 to 0, but the minutes was from 0 to 60. So whenever I'm just, what you could say is, you could do it the other way too. You could say, um, it's kind of difficult this way. But you could say, you know, as I'm going to the right, my graph is going downward, so the slope is going to be a negative slope. Okay? Anybody have a question on that? Maximilius? People don't know that video that there is no maximum in this. Just making up random names. Garfield, can you be quiet, please? Thank you.